Hey guys, so Mary Jam here. Facts and stories. Uh, follow me for the day. It's 12.30 on April 13th. So I was trying to stay awake so I could film that video and go to the clinic. But I called them to make it uh, later so now I don't have to go till 4 which is good because I need at least an hour nap because I'm tired again. But I've been up since 4 a.m. And I did a lot of cleaning and cooking. And I keep saying I'm going to do the videos as soon as I wake up. But instead I start cleaning and cooking because there's stuff that I'm craving. Like my foodie takes bite tofu steak dish. So, yeah. I really wanted that and then I started cleaning. But at least this time I did three, three loads of dishes. Including the cat dishes because I keep putting those off and cutlery. So, um, I also did my workout exercises video, which is in a video. It's not for a follow me for the day because it's just uh, working out. Um, so yeah, but it's 12.30. I don't know if you guys can see how tired I am, <laughs> but I could barely keep my eyes open. And then I was thinking of going out now instead and just go there early, but then I was like, no, I'm going to pass out <laughs> if, I, if I try going out, so um, I'm glad that I was able to schedule it for later um, because then it's not till 4, so I don't have to leave till 3, but I'll probably like start going out around 2, two, two or 3, um, and then if I'm a little late, it's not like that big of a deal, but because I think they're open late today. Oh, but yeah, I'm just so <sighs> tired. I'm yawning my head off. <laughs> and I gotta feed the cat soon, but then they'll be like, every time I wake up, they're like, oh, you're awake, so you could feed me now. And then they don't realize it's a re. I already fed them two times to, in the day, so hopefully they won't bug me. Um, but yeah, so I'm going to take a, at least an hour nap. I'm going to eat though first, because um, I haven't had anything to eat yet all day today. So yeah, I'm just going to put my makeup off and then go for the smoke and watch Jack Neal, then come back, warm up my food, feed the cats as usual, and then... Um, I can't even think because I'm so tired. <laughs> and then watch the Golden Girls and fall asleep. So I'll probably only watch like 10 minutes of it like yesterday. I think I'm like, I only watch like 10 minutes or whenever I'm done eating. Then I just stop the show because I'm just too tired. <laughs> too, too tired. So, uh, but at least I did clean a lot in the kitchen um, and I moved stuff around. So the cutlery thing is actually on the other side now. So it's easier to get to the counter. Oh, boy, hey. It's like no matter what I do, take an emergency drink, do lots of water. I was debating about having another cup of coffee, but I'm like, it doesn't keep me awake anyway, so I might as well just go to sleep. <laughs> so. Yeah, because I don't want to schedule it for tomorrow, because tomorrow um, I'm with the kids and then I do my laundry, so I really have to do laundry, because I keep putting that off. And Victoria is like, next, this is the last weekend, so, and then my mom's birthday is on Saturday, so I'll probably end up going out to an event. Which is kind of funny because my dad's birthday was on Wednesday, yesterday, and then my mom's birthday is on Saturday, I think. Yeah, it's like a few days after. <laughs> so it's kind of weird how it's like so close together. But I still always forget unless it's in my calendar. And I know it's like after GST, but I still forget unless if I look at the calendar. I don't even remember how old I am sometimes. I'm like, how old am I? I gotta calculate it out. <laughs> like, I was born in 1980. 
So that means I'm 42. <laughs> but yeah, my memory is just so bad. Um, it was really bad growing up, but it's worse as I got older, so it kind of sucks. So if I ever do travel, I'm most likely I'll travel with somebody. Hopefully Lisa, because I know she wants to travel, so you'd be good if you do. Um, but who knows, I mean, that's not going to be for like another couple of years. So we'll see what I'm like <laughs> once the cats pass away, whenever that is. Hopefully... 45. I don't want it to be like in the next two years or anything. So <clears throat> maybe even 50 they could they could live for another 10 years. Some cats do. Nina was 17 when he passed away. So um yeah we'll see but oh but things could be worse. Um like I said if I didn't have Thankfully, I have medication, and thankfully, I don't have to be in a home. <laughs> like, um, like he was saying, my friend's friend has, like, a similar condition, and he can't find any medication that helps him, and he can't find, and he lives in a home now. And his family just can't deal with it, and I'm like, and he wants to give up so badly, but I keep telling, telling my friend to tell him to not to give up, because... It could always be worse. It could turn out that he's living on the street with this condition. No money coming in. I mean, it could always be worse, right? So, you gotta count our blessings and know that we're not alone, which is why I do this. Um, and, yeah, it's just, it's just kind of sad, but, I mean, the person is a lot older than me. He's like his seniors. And I'm different because I was born this way, so... Because I keep saying, now doctors say it's the way that I was born. It just happened to be my age. As soon as I hit 40, that, that's when this happened. So, but thankfully I got medication. That works. <laughs> it just makes me very, very tired, but I'd rather be sleeping than shaking. So, that's the main thing. But... Tomorrow, like, whenever I make plans with other people, I make sure that I don't wake up until I have to go see them. So, um, since the appointment was kind of important, but not that important, I could always, like, reschedule it. Um, or make it later, so that's why I made it later, so it's not too bad, but I really want to do these videos. <laughs> really want to do these videos. So, but I know after I get the depot shot, that's going to put me to sleep as well so yeah we'll see eventually I mean if I don't get it done now I'll get it done when I'm in Victoria because <laughs> I have less to do but yeah I'm just one of the, I mean I've never had clock, cockroaches or anything like that and I don't want to have them <laughs> so that's why I'm trying to clean as much as I can um, with this condition <laughs> And my place is, like, still pretty decent. I mean, it's... Like I keep saying, I've seen videos on YouTube that are way worse than mine. <laughs> and I'm like, I can't believe how much clothes people have. And people pay, like, $2,000 for a bag. That's insane. I would never spend that kind of money even if I had that money. But... I guess it's their lives. <laughs> so, yeah, um... Anyways, I want to get ready for bed because I have to at least start hanging out around 3, so it's only like an hour and a half. And, yeah, then I'll update you guys. I don't know if I'll update you guys before I go out, but if I don't, then I'll update you guys when I'm out. And, oh, I'll probably leave at least a little earlier so I can go to Tysol. Actually, that please, if you guys don't want to hear this part, <laughs> but I've said it many times, it's about haunt it being haunted. But basically, the story of Tysol is that that whole area um, was something else before it was the mall. And the guy passed away, but the girl 
or his wife was still around and she got the inheritance from the place and stuff like that but supposedly even now like the last time I was there <clears throat> working there there'd be like huge bags falling off the shelf or like lights going on and off when nobody's around <laughs> there's only like one switch that you could do so or like weird things happening and then people, even my coworkers, would be like, just like, oh, it's just a ghost. It's just a ghost. <laughs> I was like, really? What ghost? But, yeah, so basically, the ghost is a guy that died. And I don't know how he died or, any, or his name or anything like that. But supposedly he died and he haunts the place because he wants the money. Even though he is a ghost, he can't really do anything with the money. But I guess he's attached to the place because... He thinks that he was in the wrong, or she she should have had the money, and I don't know if she's still alive or not. But it's just kind of funny that things happen and they just keep going. Yeah, it's just a ghost, just a ghost. <laughs> so I still wanted to cover that story, but I keep thinking maybe I should like do the story and then uh, post it. But I kind of wanted to interview my boss, my old boss, which is why I left on good terms. <laughs> and we ne just never got around to it, so I have to bug him about it again. And if he doesn't want to be interviewed, because before he wanted to be interviewed. And then I could get like photos and stuff inside. But I was there for almost a year and a couple months at Tysol. Um but I don't really want to do it without permission because I don't want to get in trouble too so that's why I kind of mention it on my channel but yeah I've seen some crazy things too like shelves moving <laughs> and like the actual shelf with stuff on it I've seen it move on its own and we were like and then I tell like my coworker, and that's when she said yeah it's just a ghost and she told me the story but it's just kind of surprising that everything and anything is pretty much haunted. And that's one reason why I do Dark and Told Secrets at Stanley Park, because there's a lot of history and um, a lot of secrets of Stanley Park, which uh, you guys could go check out. But I am hoping to get back into the ghost storytelling. Well, at least, if I can't, in Vancouver before I leave, then hopefully I'll do lots in Victoria. Because that's the whole reason why I'm going, is to go to Emily Carr House and Point Alice House. It's sad that they're closing. But yeah, it's just, just kind of funny. I was thinking about that. But I do have to go to Tysol on the way there and uh, shoppers, and they're kind of side by side. So, you know, I'll just do that. So, anyways, I just had to throw that in there. Because, <laughs> it, yeah, I was there for quite a long time. And I closed a lot, which is fun. But, just, yeah. Just sadly, you don't get a lot of breaks at that, at that store, at that company. But, say you want to get two fifteen minutes and a half hour break. And I worked there for a year or two, so. <laughs> but some places do give you that, and some places don't. But um, if you're a chain smoker like me, you kind of need that break. <laughs> so that's one of the main reasons why I left. Uh, there's other stuff too, but I won't get into that now. So yeah, um, thankfully I don't have to go to my appointments, not till 4 o'clock, no. So, uh, yeah. <laughs> it was funny the last time I was actually when I went there there was like nobody around when I went to the clinic and no doctors no nurses were just closed I was like oh well you could just give me the needle I'll do it myself <laughs> I didn't know <laughs> I can't do it myself but she was laughing about that so that's kind of funny but I'm like no I wouldn't trust myself with a needle 
So yeah, um, not till four o'clock. So hopefully I'll sleep for at least an hour. I see it twelve forty six now. So one one thirty. Probably fall asleep around like one thirty, and then get up around two two thirty, and then like head out the door. So we'll see. Um, but yeah, I'll keep you guys posted. I'll just do an update when I'm when I head downtown, and then if there's no videos, you guys know that I went downtown. But yeah, um, basically I just rescheduled it for four o'clock today, so I could take a nap and eat. So sadly, I have to go back to bed. But at least I did do some exercises earlier today. So once again, like, share, comment, subscribe, donate if you can, turn on your notifications if it's following me for the day, parts of my life, so you can see what it's like, having an unknown shaking condition, and life on medication, etc, etc, and welcome to my haunted world, XOXO, OG.